Hi class, session three of the week, so third day, and we're going to go ahead and just get started. So let's warm up and paying attention to our breathing and our centering in the beginning of our warm up, and then we'll work into some other uh, guiding principles, which will most likely be some focus or concentration and some control. Okay, so chest expansion. Big open chest on the exhale, rounding and scooping on the inhale. So again, while you're warming up, just making sure that you're paying attention to how your body feels. Trying to rid your head of any distractions. Make sure you're here, you're present. Let's come on down. Cat and cow. So on the cat will exhale. Sorry, on the cow will exhale. On the cat we will inhale. Make sure that we are tucking the pelvis under and forward on the cat and then tilting it back on the cow. All right, let's go into dynamic, hands forward, hips down to start, and we're going to pull it back and forward. Exhale here, inhale back. Come to a seated position. We're going to do our seating, seated hip circles today. So go ahead and bring your hands back behind you, slightly leaning back. Uh, lift that leg, keep that leg bent at the knee, and we're just circling. Just warming up. And reverse. Switch legs, lift, and reverse, good, all right, let's come on down for our hundred, we're going to roll down, bring your knees with you, and go right into your pumping. Inhale for five, exhale for five. Five represents the pumps of the arms. Scooping, chin to chest. Hopefully this is getting a little bit easier, getting a little bit stronger, being able to hold that neck up off the floor for a little bit longer. So maybe you're even getting to 100 pumps. Done. you can bring your head down and your feet down okay so we are going to go ahead and begin our session remember the first time through the session the routine it's one exercise at a time and the next time through we'll go a little bit swifter a little bit quicker with less repetitions okay there's a lot of exercises today so we're gonna go ahead and begin with single leg stretch this is our traditional so bring those knees in head and shoulders up chin to chest, scooping, and we're going to draw one knee in and extend the other leg out. Gently pulling on the bent knee and full extension of that horizontal leg. So point the toes parallel to the floor, stay centered and scooped, keep the rear on the mat. 
breathing. Last one, and rest. A double leg, so a little bit of a modification just with the arms. So the movement with the legs would be the same, but our arms are going to come underneath our legs rather than out away from us, okay? So go ahead and bring your knees in, head and shoulders up. You're gonna go ahead and bring your arms underneath your legs here. And when I extend my legs out, I'm going to sweep my arms out. And then pull my arms back in with my legs. Staying scooped, chin to chest, breathe. One more, and rest. Good. Arms at your sides, bring your feet a little bit closer to you for bridging. We're going to lift the hips and raise the arms up towards the ceiling. Here we go, ready, up, exhale up, engage the glutes, and down, inhale, up, exhale, down, inhale, up, exhale, down, inhale, one more, up, and down, nice. Okay, we have traditional crisscross, so hands are behind the neck, so we're gonna go ahead and bring those knees in first, head and shoulders up, Scooping immediately, chin to chest, hands behind the head. Shoulder blades should be up off of the mat. From here, I'm going to extend my right leg and come across to my left knee. Now I'm coming across the rib cage as I switch. I wanna make sure that I'm balanced so my rear stays connected to the mat. I do not drop my shoulders or my head to the floor. I am simply holding them elevated and rotating across the rib cage to the opposite knee. Breathe, slow it down. One more. And rest. Good. All right, next we have single straight, and single straight is traditional today as well. <clears throat> so a lot of traditional exercises in this routine today. I like to do that right about midweek, right? Um, where we're not quite fatigued, um, and we can try and conquer some traditional exercises. So single straight, both legs all the way up. Head and shoulders up. Scooping chin to chest. I'm going to gently pull on this back of this leg. I'm going to drop this leg, pull with both hands, bringing this leg up and switch. Pull gently, staying centered. Slow it down, scooping the entire move. Breathing. Really controlling the pace and the movement with the stretch. One more. And bend your knees. And I just want you to hug your knees a little bit. Bring your head down. Pull your knees in slightly. Lift that lower back off the mat if you can to release any tension there. All right, legs all the way up. Go ahead and bring the hands behind the neck. Modified double straight. So we're bending, extending, pulling in and up. Exhale as you extend. Inhale as you pull up. Stay scooped. Breathing consistently. Inhale up. Exhale out. All right, go ahead and rest. Bring the feet down and the head down. All right.
right, so uh, we're ready for our roll up holds and our roll down holds, but we're gonna change it up just a tad. And that just simply means that we're gonna add an arm sweep, okay? So go ahead and straighten your legs slightly, keep a little bit of a bend in the knees still. Everything else is the same except the arm sweep. So we've been starting with our arms at our sides, right? So we're gonna start with our arms behind our head. This is the only difference. I am not going to lift my head until I can see my arms leading in front of me to lift up. So it'll look like this. I'm gonna sweep, lift, reach and hold. Come down, sweep arms back. Arms are the last to finish here, okay? Here we go, let's try this. Exhaling up, we're sweeping, lifting, Holding, remember to engage the glutes, those pelvic floor muscles, nice. Of course, the scooping. Here we go, exhale. Inhale at the bottom, and we'll go one more. Up. And down. Go ahead and roll to your side, push yourselves up for roll down holds. <clears throat> so we're gonna change this one up a little bit as well. And so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna slightly open out to our left and to our right as we lean back. Uh, we wouldn't do this in a, in a traditional roll up, but it's just a, an added amount of time that we're in this lean back or this roll down position, okay? So, nothing is different in the beginning. Hands on knees, collapse the spine or the lower back. I'm going to extend my arms, slightly lean back, and now from here I'm going to open up just a little bit to your left, back to center, and then come up. And then when we roll down, we're gonna open a little bit to our right. It's just a tiny opening, it's not a twist. And up, and we'll go to the right. And up, we'll go one more on each side. Bend your legs, keep them together for front stretch. Arms up top, stretch over the top. Pull one in. All the way up. Exhale, over. Inhale up. Exhale, over. Inhale up. One more. In Exhale over and inhale up. Good. Hands down. Go ahead and bend your knees. So remember I told you about that stomach massage. It's that seated balance position. Um, and we modified it the first time. We're going to do the same thing again. We're going to balance and we're going to extend one leg out. So go ahead and bring your hands <clears throat> underneath your thighs. You're going to balance there on your tailbone. <clears throat> and from here, I'm going to scoop my belly. And then when I flatten my back, I'm going to lift one leg, extend it, flatten the back, lift the chest, slightly lean back, pull it in, round the back again. Other leg. If you have a difficult time balancing, you can put your feet on the floor, that's fine. And then just extend one leg at a time. If you're not quite there yet. So notice the change in the lumbar area, the change in the position of your low back, your low abdominal area, each time you round and flatten. All right, 
legs down. So we're gonna go into spine twist and we're gonna add an easy side bend to this exercise. So we're gonna bring our hands behind our neck, sitting up tall, strong posture here. I'm going to twist in one direction. I'm gonna come back to center, twist in the opposite direction, back to center, and then I'm going to easy side bend. So I'm gonna bring one hand down and just bend towards that extended arm there. Bring it back, extend the other arm down, slight bend towards that hand on the floor, and back to start. We'll do that again. Hands behind the head, spine twist, slow, opening, back to center, other side, back to center, hand down, easy side bend, other hand down, easy side bend. Good. All right, from here, go ahead and bend your knees. We're gonna lean back on our elbows again. One leg will do the work. Remember that when our elbows are back, we wanna lift our chest and our abdomen high and hold this rib cage up high here, okay? So one leg is going to do the work, and here we're going to do this pulling in <clears throat> to a full extension up. So extend one leg out, other leg is bent. I'm going to pull this knee in, extend this leg up, and pull it down to start. So in, up, down. In. One more, in, up, down. We're gonna switch legs, extend this leg. Rib cage is still tall or high. In, up, down, in, up, down, in, up, down. Two more, up, down, last one. All right, come forward, split your legs. We have spine stretch. So we're gonna sit up tall, reach up, and flat back, exhale. Inhale at the top, exhale. You wanna try and lead with your chest over the top, flat back, really lengthen the spine. All right, go ahead and bring your legs together again. So rolling like a ball, we've done this before. We're gonna have a little fun here, right? Hopefully you're all able to do this. If not, remember I showed you, you can go on your back and just roll on your back. If you need to layer your mat, double up your mat, you can for support in the spine. So rolling like a ball, hands under thighs. Reminder again, we're in this Seated balance position, knees are touching, feet are touching, hands are under thighs, elbows are out, we're scooped to start. Chin to chest, we just simply roll back, scooping all the way through the move, that'll help control your pace. Roll back and roll up. Breathing through the move. Remember, if you get stuck on your back, just roll it out. Stay scooped. See if you can try and control your pace to get up. Good. One more. Good. All right. So we have mermaid with legs in front today. So we're going to go ahead and sit up tall. Hands are out at our sides. I'm going to sweep over the top. Slight lean into that stretch, bring that arm back, other arm over. So 
strong posture, breathing, and sweeping. One more. Good. And knee hug. Release that lower back. All right, you guys, we're gonna come over onto our tummies. Today we have slow swim. So over on your tummy. <clears throat> so slow swim, opposite arm, opposite leg, lifting. So we're in this back exercise mode, okay? Lead your arms out in front of you. And we're gonna balance up here on our rib cage. Head is up, but our chin is down. We're looking down at our mat. I'm gonna keep my pelvis connected to the mat. I'm gonna lift one arm and one leg at the same time. So opposite arm, opposite leg. So I'm gonna lift my right arm and my left leg, keeping my hip down on the floor, lower. And then my left arm and my right leg, lift up, keep the leg extended and down and up and down and up breathe up down up down up down last one up and down good all right come up onto your elbows we have single leg kicks so we're going to bring our hips up off of the mat Remember, abdominals are pulled up and engaged, keeping our back stable. And we're just simply going to pull one heel in and then the other heel in. Each time we pull the heel in, we tighten the hamstrings, the glutes. Breathing. Check yourself. Make sure your abs are pulled up. And come on down. All right, new exercise today. So on your chin, rest on your chin, or you can look over at the video. Arms are at your sides right now, okay? These are called double leg kicks, and we're going to modify, meaning we're not going to interlock our hands right now. So I'm going to bend my knees, and I'm going to go ahead and place my hands right here on my rear, on my back resting on my chin. I am going to lift my chest up off the mat and I'm going to reach back with my arms and I'm going to lift and reach back with my legs. So this is the full position here. Head is up, chest is up, legs are up, arms are extended. So we're hyperextending this back and then I'm going to pull it back, bring my knees down, bring my head down and bring my hands back down. So I start folded here, and then I unfold, extend back. So I'm trying to lift my trunk up and lift my legs up, my thighs up. So we're going to exhale as we lift. Here we go. Inhale. When you fold, exhale as you lift. And inhale, we'll go one more on the, these are called double leg kicks. So I usually do double leg kicks following single leg kicks. Good. All right, go ahead and bring your hands around to your chest. And we're going to go into our low back stretch. So push yourselves up and back. So next we have low plank hip rolls. So these will either be your favorite or your least favorite. <laughs> I don't think there's any in between. 
Favorite because it works, okay? Uh, least favorite because it works. <laughs> so anything that works, that means there's a challenge, right? So what's gonna happen is we're gonna come down into low plank. So that means that we're going down onto our elbows. These are called hip rolls. So I'm gonna bring my knees up off the mat for low plank, keeping my back flat. I'm just simply going to shift my feet to the side so that my hip will drop or dip to one side. And then I shift my feet back to center and then I shift my feet to the other side so my hip dips to the other side. So notice that I stay in this plank position and I just roll from side to side. Staying in control. If you have to modify, you can bring your knees down. You just won't be able to dip too far because your knees will stop you, okay? rolls one more each side and knees down good come back into low back stretch again but this time bring your arms back so like i said that will either be, be your favorite or your least favorite <laughs> right okay so next we have our table exercise with some leg work. Um, we're gonna go ahead and come to table first and I'm gonna explain what we're doing here today. So this is a bent leg lift work workout here. So what's gonna happen is I'm gonna lift it out to my side first and then I'm gonna lift it back. So remember when we're on table, we wanna make sure we're engaging our abdominal muscles. So from here, I'm simply gonna keep my leg bent and lift it out away from me, like fire hydrant, right? That exercise. We're gonna bring it back and then lift it back, keeping the leg bent and come down. We'll go to the other side, out and back. And then switch legs, out and back switch legs out back we'll go one more on each side out and back other leg out and back good kneeling tall so we're going to go kneeling lean backs actually let's do hip thrusts first so hip thrust remember Back is flat, we're gonna sweep our arms out in front, pull our hips back, come forward, squeeze the glutes, repeat. One more. And then we're gonna go into kneeling lean backs with arm sweeps. So lean back, sweep the arms up, and back to start, arms down and back. Remember our back is flat. We lead with our lower back, not our upper back. So we stay flat and we're only leaning back as far as we feel comfortable, tightening those glutes, right? One more. Good, all right. Come on down to your side for some leg work here. We're gonna do some mini leg lifts. So come all the way down, hand propped, hand out in front. I'm gonna start with the outer leg first. Make sure I'm in, in alignment, right? Hip is connected, abdominals are pulled in. And I'm just gonna lift my leg here, tightening from the hip down and I'm just gonna Pulse, pulse, up and down, nice and strong in the leg, breathing, engaging the abs, and rest. We'll do that one more time, ready, lift, and pulse. Alright, 
come up onto your elbow. This leg that I was just working, I want you to bend it and bring that foot behind the leg. Right now we're gonna work the inner thigh, okay? <clears throat> I'm working the hip adductors. So we're adding, we're pulling in towards the inside center of our body. So I'm gonna flex my foot, it's the opposite of pointing the toe, and I'm simply going to pull my leg up and pulse. Abs are engaged. And rest. And we'll do that again. Ready, lift and pulse. Good. All right. I want you to go ahead and bend your legs. And from here, we're going to do those reach overs. I think we've done this once before, but this time we're going to extend this top leg. So I'm going to go ahead and extend this top leg, keeping my legs stacked, arm on hip, still on my elbow. I'm going to lift my hips up onto this bottom knee, and then I'm going to sweep over, which is a reach over. My hips are pushed forward. I'm going to sweep back down and lower my hips. So make sure we're maintaining a full extension of line from my trunk to my bo lower body. Lift up, reach over, <clears throat> and down. Exhale up, inhale down. We'll go one more. Exhale up, inhale down. Good, let's switch sides. <clears throat> And we're going to go ahead and do our mini lifts so that outer leg gets all the work right now. So come on down, hand propped, hand out in front. We're going to lift this upper leg here and we're just going to pulse. Breathe. And rest. And one more time. Up and pulse. And down. Go ahead and bend your knees. Come up onto your elbow. <clears throat> I'm going to fold this top leg behind this bottom extended leg. I'm going to flex the foot. And I'm lifting and pulsing. And rest. And again, lift and pulse. Switch the legs, bend the bottom leg, extend the top leg, arm on hip, go reaching over, lift up, and over, and down, exhale as you lift, and down, lift, sweep, and down, let's go one more. All right, you guys, we are going to repeat this workout. So then we're gonna come on down so we can start and go ahead and go right into our single leg stretch. So again, really focusing on your breathing, maybe your exhale a little bit more than your inhale. And really at this point in time, just focusing on control, okay? Here we go, come on down, controlling the moves. Here we go, single leg. Pull in, extend out, scooping, breathing, chin to chest, all of those cues, gentle pull in the knee, last one, and rest. 
Double leg will be with our hands underneath our thighs and then we're sweeping out to our side. Go ahead and bring your knees in, head and shoulders up, arms underneath, and then we're extending out and reaching out. Scooping again, chin to chest, breathing, exhale, extension, inhale in, out, last one, and rest. Arms down, feet down, we're bridging with arm raise, here we go, up. And down, exhale up, inhale down, and up, and down, one more, up, and down, nice, all right, we have crisscross, knees in, Head and shoulders up, hands behind your head, and go ahead and begin. Rotate across the rib cage to the bent knee, opposite elbow to the bent knee. Extend the horizontal leg all the way out. Rear stays connected. So we're very balanced here. We don't over rotate on one side. We keep the rear connected on that horizontal leg. Last one each side. And rest. All right, making sure that we're still breathing through the moves, okay? We have single straight stretch. Legs all the way up, head and shoulders up. We're gonna pull on one leg, we'll drop the other leg, and switch. We're scooping, chin to chest, breathing. Gentle pull on the leg, control the pace, no hurry. Last one. And we hug. Press the head, pull the knees in. We have modified double straight. Go ahead and extend the legs. Lift the head, hands behind the neck. Bend your knees, extend your legs, pull your legs up. Exhale as you extend. Inhale as you pull in and up. One more. We have modified roll-up hole with arm sweep. So go ahead and extend your legs out, slight bend in the knees. Bring the arms behind you to start. We're gonna go ahead and sweep first, then lift, engage, hold. Come on down. Remember we exhale as we lift. There we go, again, sweep. Lift. Engage, see if we can go a little bit higher each time. Come on down, inhale. Up again. And down. Last one. Roll to your side, push yourselves up. Roll down, hold with a slight opening, right? All right, collapse your spine or your rear back. Reach out, lean back, slight open, back to center and up. We'll go the other direction, back down, open. down again to the left and up and last one down and to the right and up good 
Extend your legs. We have front stretch. Legs are together. Up tall. Exhale over the top. Stomach massage with one leg extension. So hands under thighs, seated balance, scooping to start. And we're going to open, flat back, extension of one leg. Lift up and close. And open and close. And open. down all the way down we have our spine twist with the side bend this time through we're going to extend our arms so no hands behind your head so arms out sitting up tall we're going to twist push that back arm back opening up a little bit more twist to the other side back to center drop one arm down sweep over and over and twist again and twist and sweep and sweep good all right bend your knees come back onto your elbows rib cage tall one leg extended we're going to pull it in, up, and down. In, up, down. In, up, down. One more. In, up, and down. We're going to switch legs. Extension. In, up, down. In, up, down. Down. Last one. In, up, and down. Good. Let's come forward. Spine stretch. Split your legs. Sitting up tall. Reach up and over with an exhale. to layer your mat for rolling like a ball you can do that now uh, we're going to go ahead and bend our knees hands underneath our thighs and balancing seated balance on the tailbone stay scooped through the move keep your your space between your thighs and your chest try to keep the legs in that original position try not to pull them in or push them out so use your arms as leverage rather than your legs and scooping to control your pace. One more. Good. All right, mermaid, which we've kind of already done, right, with that spine twist exercise. So we're gonna go ahead and reach up and over. Stay seated tall. Last one. And knee hug. Release your lower back.
So this is where we turn over to our tummies. We have our slow swim, and then we have our single leg kicks, and that new exercise, the double leg kicks, okay? So go ahead and come over to our tummies. Arms are extended out. <clears throat> Resting on the rib cage, looking down, opposite arm, opposite leg lift. Here we go. Up, hold, down, right arm, left leg, left arm, right leg. Last one. Good. All right, come down, resting on your chin. Bring your arms to your sides. Go ahead and bend your knees. Bring your hands back on your rear or your lower back. Double leg kicks. We're lifting, extending, reaching back. Come down. And lift and reach. And down and lift and reach and down one more and lift and reach and down good legs down hands outside your chest push up and back low back stretch So next we have those low plank hip rolls. So we're going to come down onto our elbows, lift our knees up off the mat if we can, and then we're rolling, shifting the feet from side to side, slow control move, breathing. Feel the strength in your trunk, your hips. And knees down. Low back stretch, bring your arms back behind you. Good. All right. We have table leg work, bent leg work today. So go ahead and go into table position. <clears throat> We're gonna stay on one leg this time. So, left leg, we're gonna bend, pull it out, pull it down, pull it back, back to center. And out, down, and back, out, down, and back. One more, out, down, and back. Moving to the right leg, out, down and back, out, down and back, out, down and back. Last one here, out, down and back, kneeling tall. All right, so we're gonna combine our hip thrusts with our lean back at this point. All right, so arms on our sides. Hip thrust first, lean back with arm raise, second, here we go, thrust, flat back, tight glutes, breathing, one more. Let's come on down to our side. So we have side lying mini leg lifts, right? All the way down, hand out in front. Lift that outer leg and pulse. Left 
abdominals are folding. Hip is pressed down and rest. Lift and pulse. And down. Good. Come up onto your elbow. You're going to fold that top leg, flex the foot of the bottom leg, and we're just basically going to lift and pulse. Flex the foot, lift and pulse. And rest. Go ahead and switch the legs. Top leg is straight, bottom leg is bent. Arm on hip, reach over. So lift the hip, reach over with the arm, and come on down. Up and over. And down. Over and down. We'll go one more. Up and over. And down. Switch sides. Come all the way down. Propped. Hand out in front. Lift the upper leg and pull. Almost there, you guys. And down. All right, come up onto your elbow. Hold that top leg behind. Flex that bottom foot. Lift and pulse. And rest. And lift and pulse. up and over. They fly over my house every morning, early afternoon, up to the Caldor fire. Good. All right, seated position. Let's go with our seated accordions. All right, hands on knees. Go ahead and collapse the spine. Sit up, push the abdomen forward and down and forward and down and up. Last one, down and up. Extend your legs. We're going to do what are called arm poles. So I'm going to start with my arms out in front. And I'm going to pull my elbows back at my sides, okay, tight to my sides here. And when I do that, I'm really strengthening or tightening the muscles in my arms, okay, and squeezing my fists. So I'm going to pull, creating resistance, and extend. Still breathing consistently, sitting up tall. stretch. And we are done. Nice job today. So that's the third session. Tomorrow will be the last session of the week, followed by a weekly connection. Just a reminder, you don't have to click submit after you've watched this video and participated. 
Uh, the canvas records your time within the canvas, so make sure you're watching it inside of the canvas. Um, even though there's a YouTube, um, you know, host address there, you don't want to watch it on the YouTube because Canvas will not track your time, okay? So then you won't get the, uh, the points per session. So good job. I will see you next time.